What up y'all, it's your boy Plant Man P. And I actually forgot to do a November plant haul for y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and do it today. And instead of uh, lining up all the plants, what I'm gonna do actually is take you guys to the plants, take you to their habitat, take you to their, their homes, and let you know what we got going on. It's lighting. All right, so here we go. We got the holler palm we got from the sill. It's, uh, it's doing pretty good. Uh, we lost a few leaves in the um, the getting used to phase. Like that's one thing you guys gotta know with plants is you most likely will lose some or a lot of leaves during the process of it adjusting from its uh, previous habitat to its new habitat. So don't get too, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Don't get too discouraged when you're doing this or in this process because it is going to happen. It happens to the best of us. So this is the parlor palm we got from the sill. And this is the money tree we got from the no budget challenge. It's doing pretty good. I switched it over to, I originally had it like this, but as you guys can see, this side is more full or fuller rather than this side. So that's a little tip for you guys. Always um, adjust your plants, especially to the, I guess, the weaker side or the, you know, less fuller side. So that way, this side can get as full as this side. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back just the way it was. And it's going to be facing this window. So it's getting a lot of light here. So basically, I want this guy or this side of this guy to um, bloom as much as this side. So I think that's it for the room. Uh, yeah, that's it for November at least. Then we got Plant Lady P in here. She's cooking breakfast. She is here. And let's see what else we got. We got um, this Hoya Carry we got from Wild Bunch. I think it's pretty cool. I don't really have any tips for this guy. We just got it. I'm just doing direct sunlight or uh, you know indirect sunlight, treating it just like any other plant until further notice. And we got a little sweetheart. Same thing. This one was from the sale, no budget challenge. If you guys watched that video, this plant itself is more famous than the actual video. And this is the ZZ from the sale, the no budget challenge. If you guys have a ZZ, you know what the deal is with these. These are super easy to maintain. Don't have new growth yet. Oh wait, is that new growth? Where did I see it? Where did I see it? Nah, oh well. But there's not any new growth yet, but I'm sure it will come. So we're patient on that. And sad to say it, but I need help guys. This once was a Raven ZZ. But what the hell happened? I literally do not know. I, we bought it, it was thriving, and now look at it. Let me put it to the light so you guys can actually see it. Please let me know in the comments below. If you know what happened, let me know, please. I'm not trying to kill this dude. Well, it's most likely already dead, but at least these two leaves. The new growth right here is thriving, but... If you guys have any tips or any suggestions as to what the hell happened, please let me know in the comments. And let me see. Oh, this is this uh, stand is new. We got from IKEA. Let me see if anybody else in there is new. They're not. What else? What? Oh, oh no, that's not December. All right. So now everybody else is outside. So let me go ahead and put on my slippers and take you guys outside all right so we got this cactus I don't know an ID so if you guys have any idea what the ID is on this please let me know coffee hold on thank you oh, let me guys let me show you guys the Merry Christmas you filthy animal like I said, I don't know the ID on this guy. So if you guys do know, let me know in the comments. This was from the uh, No Budget Challenge as well. 
What else we got here? We got this. The ID on this guy. Sirius Forbes Mont Rose. We actually got this from Home Depot, believe it or not. Had to scoop. I was like, oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is one of my favorite cactus. I mean, all my cactus are my favorite, I'm not gonna lie, but this especially, just because it's so like crazy looking. No real care tips there. It's just if you guys got cactus, you know the deal. Most cactus are exactly the same. And this is a Sirius Forbes as well. Sirius Peruvian, excuse me. This was from Home Depot as well. Uh, I think it was four bucks as long as well as um, the Sirius Forbes Mont Rose. But this is a Sirius Peruvian. Same thing. It pretty much looks the same, but. Just a little different, if you guys can tell. This is Blueface. This was the first one we got of in November. And I'm gonna put a picture for reference when we got him versus now. It's an insane difference. It's only been a few, what? Maybe a, a month, ex almost exactly a month, and it's grown so much. I don't know what people are talking about when they say like, cactus i mean cactus do grow slow but i think they're over exaggerating especially if you got it in the right condition it's gonna thrive but that is it for november out here let me go ahead and see if there's any more inside that i'm missing after further review on instagram prism cactus made the cut for november got it for six bucks this thing is dope as hell that's the scientific name, but nobody got time to try to pronounce that. We got this one from Leaf and Spine, as you guys saw in our most recent video. And we got this, Euphorbia. We got this for 12 bucks at Leaf and Spine as well. Same kit, well, this guy is a little bit different as far as care tips. I have these guys inside just because I'm trying to do uh, an indoor cactus collection started off and like I'm trying to give these guys like filtered light so that way um especially with the leaves because the leaves are not like the Madagascar palm it's more like rugged and rough I don't know if you guys can yes yeah, more like rugged and rough on that um and these little guys we got from Mickey's need some water but we got this one from Mickey's and this one as well as you guys saw on our last video and like I said I'm keeping these guys indoor because I'm trying to start the indoor cactus collection nothing against the regular suspect houseplants but I'm trying to start the indoor cactus collection and this is actually an update for our um, our bloomscape disaster watermelon peperomia it's, it's doing pretty well I, I would say new growth is coming in but I don't know what's wrong with it we would just leave that all right hold on if anybody drinks cafe Bustelo, they know the deal I think that's it for the plant haul and we're back I must be getting old after further review we have way more plants than we thought so let's get into it this was from the Long Beach plant haul don't know the ID on this guy if you guys can help me out please let me know this was probably one of the coolest plant hauls i've ever done or um like plant shopping experiences i've ever had because it was just such a crazy store or uh nursery we got the paper spine cactus this one very different than any of the other paper spine cactus i'm used to so that's why at first i was unsure of the id because the other paper spine the other paper spine cactus are like smaller and come in doubles or something like that but this guy is just a beast in itself um so yeah i had to pick it up i just thought it was very interesting looking and believe it or not y'all this shit really does feel like paper and it's hella pointy but yeah that's the paper spine don't know the id on this one either but it looks pretty cool mm -hmm. At this point, I just get cactus because they look fire, or if I like know the significance. 
or if they mean something to me. Like, I'm actually still looking for the, um, the cactus that I first had when I was a kid. Well, I didn't have it. My dad had it, but I'm still looking for that one. So once I get it, oh my god, I'm gonna be so excited. But yeah, this is this one. And let me see what else. Oh, we got this guy. I got him. I have him facing. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know, but like, so say like you know, here's the sun. The sun's facing that way. So I have him. Because he's leaning, let me reverse him, I'll rotate him. Alright, so you see how he's like leaning hella, leaning low. So I have him this way, you guys get the picture, I have him this way so that without repotting him, he can straighten up, you know? But look at him, he looks like a human, that's why I got him. This is a more common cactus, nothing really too significant, but he really does look like a human. That's why I got him. Gotta be careful putting these things back. Alright, so this was actually our first. This is not what we purchased this month, but or November. But this was our first YouTube video with this guy. And I want you guys to watch that video. It's pretty hilarious. We uh toned down the content or the the what is it, the commentary very much. Um but if you watch that video and watch this right now. It is insane how much new growth this guy got. But let's see what else. Oh, we got this from Miss Cal. I like saying it like that, Miss Cal. All right, look at this dude. Pretty fire. Again, I don't know what the ID is, but look at him. Like he looks. Oh, I gotta clean him up. He got some spider webs. Hold on, watch this. Shout out to Daiso one time. Oh shit, where is it? Well, it's actually supposed to be in here, but I know where it is. Follow me. It actually is in here. So now watch this. All right, so we got this little tool from Daiso. Bring it into the light. All right, there it is. So any uh, debris or anything like that we see on the cactus, simply And just wipe it off, you know, or brush it off. Super simple, like a dollar. Go ahead, shout out to Daiso. This is not sponsored. Sponsor me, Daiso. Hit me up. So, this was another purchase. Again, I don't know the ID on him, but he looks fire. Shout out to Fire Cactus. Fire is one of my favorite adjectives. If you guys don't know, and after further review, this is something we got in November. Look at this man. So. Fire. I know the ID, but I don't know how to say it. So I'll go ahead and put it in the description or bottom left. And in the description as well, actually. But yeah, this is it. And I think that's truly it for November. Um, what we're probably gonna do for the rest of the day is just take it easy, maybe do some uh, Christmas shopping for our family. And we're actually gonna do something different this year for Christmas for our family. It's gonna be more so personalized gifts so maybe you guys will see that later i don't know what we have planned for today but we'll take you guys along since you guys did enjoy uh our last video our last you know vloggy type video um so we are listening to you guys feedback and we'll go ahead and do that so we're gonna eat breakfast plant lady p is cooking like y'all saw so we're gonna eat breakfast take it easy figure out what we're gonna do and we'll take you guys along with us